Hello and happy Monday. Before we kick off, don't forget, drop me in a like down below. I'd appreciate that very much. Drop me in a smiley face, thumbs up in the comments. That's always helpful as well. Let me know if you had a good Christmas uh, and you're enjoying this little void, this little confusing bit in between Christmas and New Year. Uh, the title of this video is called The Hangover, uh, which is quite apt, but it's not that type of hangover I'm going to talk about. Actually, it's a different one. I wrote an email on this the other day and it's quite important. And I found myself getting into this trap, I don't know if you have as well, which is this thing about we think that because 2020 for a lot of people was a bad year um we think that 2021 is automatically going to be better um and i've said this before about like new year's resolutions and stuff i used to be one of those new year's resolution people that used to hate it and used to go oh it doesn't work doesn't work and actually i've sort of i've sort of mellowed on that a little bit now and i say to people well, it doesn't matter <laughs> when you start you've got to start at some point and if that's january then then you know fantastic um but you've got to start at some point so it's, it's okay to start in january the problem is it's the same attitude towards the pandemic as it is towards new year's resolutions people expect that 2021 is going to hit and everything's going to be fine and quite clearly it's not and it's very similar to sort of setting objectives for new year people think that they're just going to wake up a brand new person in january and trust me i've been doing this a long time but you're not and that's why it's important, I think, not to try and go from zero to 60 in like three seconds. You have to do some things to try and ease yourself in a little bit so it's not too much of a body shock. So, for, for example, my diet over the last week has not been fantastic, but I've made sure that I've done some runs. I've been to the gym. Um, I, I've tried to manage certain elements of it, so I've not drank too much, for example, because I know that's a problem. Uh, I have had a drink. Um, you know, so I had a drink on Christmas Eve night, Christmas Day night, and Boxing Day night, so I'm not going to lie. But I didn't get drunk. I just had it to sort of enjoy myself, but not to get drunk. Um, I sort of had decent-ish meals. We didn't have big tins of chocolates in the house because I knew that, you know, we'd sit there eating them all day. We had other things in the house, but we didn't do that. So what I've done there is just manage certain parts of it so it's not a massive culture shock. Because, of course, um, whilst I'm working this week and I'll be out and about, hopefully snow permitting, that's another story, um, <laughs> um, I've um, made sure that I've put in place these foundations to build from. What most people try and do is do go absolutely mental through December and then expect January to just click and it work. And it's very much like the pandemic. People are just expecting next year click to work. And actually, you've got to bear in mind that January and February in particular are quite rough months because they're, re they're still quite harsh winter months and March as well. Parts of March can be like that as well. So we can't go into this thing expecting everything to be gravy because it won't. Um, yet we have to be a bit careful, a bit careful of that. Um, because, yeah, what if it isn't? Because it might not be, we have to be prepared. So, yeah, it's really as simple as that. It's just understanding that, you know, this time of year is a tricky time of year because you want to enjoy yourself, you want to have fun, and you want to do all these sort of things. But also, you know, if you are looking to start in January, which is, again, fine, I'd start building some foundations now so it's not too much of a culture shock because you don't need to go completely mental to then you know reverse it in January. it's almost like you know spending you know having a three thousand pound credit card and thinking oh you know what i'll blow i'll blow the limit before i start paying it off <laughs> you know don't blow the limit don't put the weight on just be conscious is all i'm saying not perfect but conscious same with the, the, anything in life don't expect things to be better just because it's new year because they won't be they won't be necessarily they might be but they may not be i've been caught up in this excessive hope thing and it's not useful all the time it's good to be optimistic sometimes but you've also got to be practically pessimistic sometimes as well so yeah heed those words so don't forget drop me a like down below i'd appreciate that very much if you want to drop me in a comment or a smiley face let me know how you're doing that's also useful if you want to share this video with your friends that'd be great as well um or if you want any details on our women only group fitness program outdoors uh talking about new year starting next week if you want to join our outdoor program all you need to do is comment below with ready and we'll send you the details on that and see if and how we can help have a good day